welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about Top Vision and in particular we're going to talk about their SS01 soundbar. Now this is a very very small but powerful soundbar with many many different features including AUX import, Bluetooth, and optical. Yes people this has optical for premium sound quality or at least that's what I hope and that's what they're boasting. Alright in this video we're going to be doing a hands on with the box quick unboxing and first impressions on said soundbar. After that, I'm going to be putting this to the At Home with Lucas test so you don't have to waste your time buying and returning. Yes, people, I'm here for you always. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. So up the top left, you have the name of the company, Top Vision Soundbar Immersive Cinema Sound for Small Spaces. That's what's up, people. This is going to be reviewed in my office with my 32-inch monitor above it. So I'm super, super excited about that. Go ahead and turn this on its side. Hi-Fi speaker, that seems to be the term for 2021 is everything is becoming hi-fi, nothing on the sides. Take a look at the bottom. Wow, I love the way this is boxed. It's so simple, just two foamies on each side and the thing in the middle, and then you have all of their very nice boxing. I'm happy with that. So the last thing you wanna do is fiddle around with your sound bar. All right, we're gonna take a look at that next. Let's go ahead and crack this open. Ooh, five languages, that is wild, so awesome. Okay, definitely want to read this in your language so you know all the ins and outs of said soundbar. There you go. Pause it if you wanted to read that. <laughs> all right, so here, ooh, it's got, wow. I would not have thought it had that. That is very nice. That is a premium feature right here. And then this is a very old, holy but Jesus. This is from the 90s, this is from the early 2000s. That's hilarious. Um, all right, it comes with a remote. Very cool, was not expecting that. Also did not expect there to be any LED. Wow, that is really cool. Um, from the box, the box is so plain, you wouldn't think there'd be anything. Let's check out the power cable. Okay, just a standard power cable right chair what wall mount no way that is cool they give you the hardware for the wall mount I like that and then there is your standard AUX to AUX very very cool all right let's take a look at the creme de la creme this is where all the money is going into this soundbar right chair all right, so this is how it's going to look when it's sitting on its feet. The feet are actually at the bottom right chair. Um, decent grips, uh, pretty standard grips, I would say, not a lot. Um, and they're kind of tapered towards the back, a little bit higher in the front. So you have two grips right here. Um, it, they're pretty grippy on the table. I, I feel like if there was any kind of bass vibrating this, it probably wouldn't move. This thing weighs a little bit, I would say a couple pounds for sure. All right, let's take a look at the button pressing over here. So it looks like you have your power slash multi-function button. You have your play pause. You have, um, it looks like skip and volume. So these are all multi-function. So they're trying to make sure you get as many, yeah, that's skip back, that's skip forward. So that's really cool. Once again, read that manual so you know what to do, whether it's a double tap for volume or it's a double tap for skip. Really cool. The buttons, the power button is the most clicky and then as you go down, it gets real spongy and less clicky. So that's interesting. Um, don't know if that's so you can hear it, click and know that you, are hitting the right button not quite sure looks like that's just a fake um yeah that's hard plastic right there but it looks a little bit cool that's not bad looking um let's take a look up here so this is actually made out of like a, a, a mesh cloth so it feels like it's some kind of cloth which is really nice um it's kind of a gray hue you can kind of see that on the camera and then there's the other side let's take a look at the back so this is interesting these are bulging out of there like this looks like it's saying mount me first and then put me down second i also am a little bit confused um oh 
Okay, I think you could take these feet off. You probably have to pull the grip. I think you can take the feet off because if you have this thing high up off the ground, that's gonna look super annoying to see that um, kind of floating on your wall. Also, this thing sticks out a decent amount. So yeah, these things stick out quite far. It's almost uh, a little bit comical, really. It's kind of interesting. Um, ooh, there's grips on there too. Wow, okay, yeah, because this thing vibrates. Um, wow, the sound bar I have does not have grips on it. That's very interesting. Um, and it sticks out from the wall. So it looks like what they're saying is we want this to be what holds your sound bar on, on the wall, not the sound bar itself. So other uh, sound bars will have the little holes in the sound bar and you'll kind of just have to work with the shape that the sound bar is. This one's saying, no, 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 you can put me on the wall with this and that'll lock it into place. So um, I wonder if these can come off too. I bet these actually come off as well. That's funny, they're huge, they stick out really far. I guess that makes sense because of the cables. Ooh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, you'd want the cables to be able to come out. That's interesting. So maybe this company is, is uh, smarter than I'm giving them credit for. 50 watts, wow, I was not expecting that. All right, let's take a look over here. So you have your USB port, you have your AUX port, you have your optical port, and then you have your power. So not a lot of plugins, but not a lot really needed for this thing. All right, so first impressions, this thing is actually quite decent. It feels like it's made right. I kind of like this sort of piano black gloss that's going all around the back and then the face of it is just this matte black on either side oh i totally missed this right here wow there is a protective little piece of <laughs> plastic oh that is hilarious that looks like where the remote is going to send the information into there um, and it looks like that might be a microphone right there or an led or a reset button now it is funny that it says led here um, so I'm, I'm not seeing any LED on this sound bar. So that's going to be very interesting to see how this LED actually works um, and where the LED comes out of. Very, very interesting. Um, but yeah, so that's on the face of it right there. Yeah, it looks decent. So the look of it is not bad. It's it's a little interesting that they they went with a thick um, piece of plastic over here and then a very thin piece of plastic. So it's not symmetrical at all. Um, I'm not sure if that was by design or because they had to do it that way. So I don't want to give them a design applause because of that. Um, but yeah, so that's, re that's really, really interesting. Um, all right, coming up, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna plug this thing in and test the sound. Hey guys, I want to take a quick minute to talk about the sponsor for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Don Pablo Coffee makes an amazing variety of coffee from bourbon infused coffee to whole bean to fresh ground coffee. You can find a perfect cup of coffee from them each day, every day. I absolutely love their coffee. Their bourbon infused coffee, it is a cup of coffee that is unlike anything on the planet. Buy some of their bourbon infused coffee today, give it as a gift, drink it as you your daily driver it is absolutely amazing also this company is eco-friendly they're for the planet they are not putting a hurt on the rainforest they're not putting a hurt on this planet so when you drink a cup of don pablo coffee you're getting a guilt-free cup of coffee Woo! that is absolutely amazing everything nowadays has a little bit of guilt tied to it but this cup of coffee is going to be amazing it's going to taste so fresh it's going to be perfect. They're a small batch coffee roaster, which means they don't roast giant amounts of coffee in giant contraptions. They roast them in a smaller roasting contraption, which means you're gonna get a fresher bean, people. Fresher beans are the way to go. All right, click the links down below, buy some of their coffee today, and let's all enjoy an amazing cup. <laughs> Okay, so for this test, I'm gonna be using my Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone. This is the most powerful microphone I have in my home, in my possession. So this is really gonna give us a good understanding of bass quality and all the crispiness of the audio from that soundbar right chair. So I'm gonna put that microphone directly in front of it and get all the audio of this game. I'm gonna do some quick gaming and then, uh, yeah, you guys will be the judge.
okay, this portion I'm gonna be playing some of my own YouTube videos, um, probably two of them, just so you can get an understanding of music. There's gonna be music in the beginning, like all my videos, and then there's gonna be me talking, so you're gonna get a good understanding of how well this soundbar actually pumps out audio, and of course, all this is on optical mode. Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So this is just gonna be me spitballing, kind of filling in the people who are new to this channel. Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about One Audio's wireless microphone. Bluetooth mode. Connected. Line in mode. Optical mode. Okay, so I've been using this thing for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review and I have to say that it looks decent. It's it's very much on the um, sort of safe side, if you will. It's not flashy, it's gonna blend in. Um, it's not really gonna be something people are gonna be talking about. It doesn't have any flair to it or anything interesting, which is great if you just want a very simple, straightforward sound bar. But if you're trying to set up like a gaming room or something, you're probably gonna wanna go with something like this in the back where it has the light and all the fun stuff that happens with it. Um, I found that optical mode, which is this color here, was the best sound quality. Uh, Bluetooth, mode. Bluetooth mode was the worst. The line and line in mode was the second best. And then optical, <laughs> or hot, hot pickle, uh, however you wanna call that. Um, it doesn't sound like she's saying optical mode. Anyways, optical mode was phenomenal. People totally blew this sound bar out of the water. Phenomenal sound quality coming through that. I was totally blown away. Um, I think that it gets extremely loud, which is awesome. The volume controls are so easy to hit. I love the fact that they're right here. This one kind of has a dial that you have to turn. Um, so I kind of didn't use that very often. Whereas this, the volume buttons are right there. And then if you need the remote, like if you have it mounted on a wall, the remote was also phenomenal. Like it did exactly what you'd want it to do. Um, very, very responsive. Um, <clears throat> you can, I pretty much left mine on music mode. So that's movie mode. News mode. News mode, which is probably talking. Music mode. Music mode. Movie mode. Movie mode, the voices were a little bit too quiet for me. I didn't like that. News mode was great if you're going to listen to a podcast or listen to someone just talking on a video. Music mode was the best. It had the great um, voice and it had the great sound and that's what I kind of stuck with. You have the Bluetooth, of course, AUX, volume up, skip play. All this stuff worked really well. Um, obviously, power off, power back on, standby time. <laughs> Hot pickle mode. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, when you leave this alone, when you just leave it on, it does turn off after a preset amount of time, which was good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say that this thing is great for you know a small TV or a monitor setup like I have going on here, um, and it does its job. It's it's a safe buy. The sound quality is phenomenal on optical mode. Uh, the pairing, Bluetooth pairing, really, really great. <laughs> I paired it up to my iPad and it would always grab that Bluetooth whenever it could, which was really funny. So it would go from optical mode to Bluetooth if my computer was not active for a certain amount of time. So it has a real smart feature where it wants to get connected to whatever it can to get the best um, playback. So Bluetooth pairing was great. I paired it up to my iPad and my iPhone paired it up to my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and then of course paired it up to my PC. So pairing of the Bluetooth, perfect, exactly how you want it to be. The optical uh, plug-in was super, super simple. You just plug it in the back, and then if you have a computer with optical, then you're good to go. Um, most TVs have optical as well. Um, I had this in my living room and it looked decent. I'm gonna show you a picture of that right now. It, 
didn't look terrible, but it was, it's a little bit too uh, chunky. It's, it, it, I wish it was a little bit smaller, like this one back here, it's not as tall. This one's a little bit chunky and short. It's not as long as um, you, you would like. And I would imagine putting this thing on the wall would also look just as odd, um, but definitely doable. It's a little bit heavy, so take that into consideration. If you're looking to put this underneath the TV, um, I thought about putting it under my kid's TV as a 32 inch TV in his room. I thought about putting this underneath there, but then I was like, you know what, I don't need more remotes to turn on and off his TV. He has a very simple setup and I want to keep it that way. So didn't mount this on the wall anywhere in my house. I did, like I said a minute ago, put it underneath my big Samsung 75 inch TV. The only problem is the power cable was not long enough to go to the wall outlet. So take that into consideration. This power cable is not as long as a TV power cable. So my Samsung 4K TV can reach from the wall it's mounted on all the way down to the wall outlet, no problem. This one was not long enough, so you're gonna have to get an extension cord or you're going to have to figure out if there's an extender uh, cable that you can buy because this is a pretty standard power cable like we talked about earlier. Um, but yeah, so all in all, I'm gonna say that it did its job. It had enough bass quality. It had enough um, sound quality. It was crispy what it needed to be, um, and it didn't really move at all. The feet would lock it into place, so if you're putting this on a desk underneath the monitor like I have set up, it's going to do its job. It's going to work. Um, you could tuck it possibly underneath the monitor like I have this one. Um, I, I didn't actually get it in there because this is stuck on with a sticky. So I'm going to give this a solid 4.2 star rating. I'm going to say the sound quality and the build quality are giving a lot. The, the, the flair, the look of it, it's just very simple. It's not a, um, it's not a cool looking uh, sound bar by any means, but it's not terrible. I also don't like the fact that this is not balanced here. It makes it seem like it could sit down here, like this could be the, the feet. Um, so it's a little bit funny that it's, it's not balanced. Um, and it's not balanced in a way that it's not as obvious. I, they're, they're, they could have put a display here, a um, little uh, display window to show the volume levels and all that. And that would make this more uh, functional and it would make more sense. All they have is the um, IR blaster sensor for the remote right there. So solid star rating, recommended to anyone out there who knows what they're buying. All right, there you go. That's the SS01 soundbar. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click, click that like button. And if you want to join the At Home Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpass 2K. I surpass 3K. Yes, people, on my way to 4K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.